Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about Lucas from A to Z. I'm sure we were all incredibly shocked yesterday morning. Well, as of the date of this video, it was yesterday morning. The documentary for Freeze was dropped. I had to like double take. Before I did all this research, I thought that him leaving NCT Wavy and Super M and terminating those contracts meant that he was no longer with SM. He's still tied to the company and they are still going to control what he does until 2025. And if they debut him as a solo artist, probably beyond that. According to both statements from SM, Lucas did not leave the company nor had his contract with the label itself been terminated. He revealed a new profile photo and his official Twitter account, Lucas underscore official, was verified and updated by SM Entertainment. Although this is the first time we have truly heard of him since his hiatus, the fact that this documentary was even released I think gives us a little ray of hope that he will debut so. I don't want to say that I support a specific side or viewpoint. I personally hope that he can pursue his career independently. With all the support he's receiving, it could be possible. Apart from the fact that leaving SM, he can't guarantee success. According to allkpop.com, various rumors about Lucas's solo debut have surfaced in the last few weeks. After Lucas appeared at the solo concerts of all the SHINee members, speculations arose that Lucas had been transferred to Center 2 at SM Entertainment instead of Center 4, which manages NCT. Now, according to netizens, the staff members of Center 2 have begun following Lucas on Instagram and confirming his relocation. Rumors also claim that that Lucas was spotted during a filming schedule in Hungary, leading to speculations that he might have been working on his solo MV. I honestly am worried about his mental health right now. You can tell by watching the documentary that he's really going through it. Some NCT and Wavy fans are still 100% anti-Lucas, but in my humble opinion, the repercussions that his actions had are blown way out of proportion. This is a situation that is going on in his personal life and I understand that you should have a good image if you're an idol. I don't think it's enough to ruin someone's whole career and like pathway. I mean, think about it. The relationship scandals were released in 2021. Just a few months ago, we were dealing with Sungham from Rise's scandals, which I also have a whole video on. And in comparison to Lucas's, they're not as big of a deal. When you see that they're going on an indefinite hiatus, it's bad news. Many don't come back from that. And it's not to be pessimistic. For years, K-pop labels have been pulling all sorts of shenanigans. I spent hours looking on Reddit and a lot of people are enraged that they're debuting him as a soloist claiming they are rewarding him while putting aside overdue solo comebacks from other SM artists. And that's true, I mean, there are a lot of NCT members that have been working really really hard for all these years and they deserve a solo debut. Some K-Netizens commented, trash belongs in the trash can. I'm sorry, but you're not welcome here. Him at center two with Shiny? Why does he get to go somewhere better? What about the NCT members who get nothing? Does no one at SM understand business? Something that won't earn a profit isn't worth investing in. What angers me the most is that SM won't let him go. I don't even care what he did, but when I think about the emotional stress and damages that the other members had to endure because of him, it makes me furious. That's the other side of the coin, but I see where some of them are coming from. For those of you who can't recall or don't know about Lucas's past and his hiatus, ever since the rise of speculations, his alleged ex-girlfriends took to the internet to post some stories accusing the idol of gaslighting and cheating. Since Lucas neither confirmed or denied the allegations, some fans believed that he was innocent. After digging more into the matter, it was discovered that part of the evidence presented by these girls to back up their claims was fabricated to affect Lucas's idol image. The actions should not be dismissed by the company, especially if they were fact, but it's one after the other. In the Western industry, I think this would be unheard of. I agree that his actions shouldn't be justified and it's great that he took the time to improve himself and reflect as a person, but at what cost? The the amount of damage he seems to have went through in these past years is just concerning. During the documentary, he sits down with one of his managers and he talks about how he was losing hair, losing weight, didn't eat much. He stayed in his apartment for six months. I have 
Another viewpoint that's gonna get a little sensitive, so I apologize in advance if I offend anyone's opinion. There's a chance the severity of these consequences is racially motivated. We have seen mistreatment in the past with this company, regardless of the member's race. It seems it's more likely for international or Chinese members to be targeted. A really popular example that you guys probably remember is a Ranjun situation. During some activity he was left waiting for his manager's car in the rain, seemingly confused and without an umbrella. This incident had many interpretations. Some saw it as neglect, while others said it was a simple misunderstanding. However, the managers are known to have negative or bossy attitudes towards members, especially during lives. Starting back in 2014, former members of EXO, Luhan, and Tao filed for contract termination, claiming that SM Entertainment exploited them and violated their basic rights as artists in the company, including health, privacy, and creative freedom. Let's recall that during these times, slave contracts were very common and some of them lasted up to 18 years. They also accused the agency of unfair profit distribution, unequal treatment, and neglect of the Chinese members of the group. On May 15th, 2014, Chris Wu stopped promoting with EXO and its subunit XOM as a result of the lawsuit he filed against SM Entertainment. Luhan followed on October 10th, 2014, and both of the members formally left the group on July 21st, 2016. In April 2022, Chinese member Lei also left the company due to inactivity and similar binding contracts that all the EXO members seem to be signed under till this day. Chinese members of Super Junior also have filed lawsuits for unfair treatment and unlawful contracts in the past. There seems to be a pattern, and SM is just keeping everyone on a limbo. Lucas is one of these cases. Is he going bye-bye? Is he staying? You can see that his accounts are managed by SM. But before that, with a lack of formal statements, we didn't know anything else. I think he had like two Instagram posts since his hiatus. I can't wait to see where this goes. And no matter what happens, this is all going to get cleared up soon. We're still missing part two of the documentary where more information I'm sure will be revealed. So let me know down in the comments, what's your opinion on this matter? Are you against Lucas debuting solo or are you for Lucas debuting solo? That's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss when I upload a video.